Hey everyone, so now we have reached the Ross Island, also known by its current name, the Nedaji Sebastian Rebos Island. So right at the start, we find the Japanese bunker, which highlights the times when the Japanese forces occupied the Ross Island. Well, here's the battery car boarding point. Let's begin our tour through the historic Ross Island. The Ross Island used to serve as the headquarters for the British during the olden times. We find many glimpses of the olden architecture at Ross Island, several British buildings and structures, especially the barracks, the bakery, recreation clubs, etc. Now what we see is the venue for the light and sound show which is held in the evenings at Ross Island. As we continue our tour through the Ross Island, we now approach the iconic lighthouse. After descending through a series of steps, we have finally arrived at the wooden bridge that leads us to the iconic lighthouse. Here is the statue of the lone sailor, which serves as a tribute for all those who perished to provide peace and security for our nation. Here is a much closer view of the lighthouse through the viewing point. On our right back through the battery car, we see another building whose architecture has been beautifully maintained. In Ross Island, we can also find several ruins which are now engulfed by the trees and roots. During an earthquake in the 1940s, the inhabitants evacuated the Ross Island and henceforth it came to be known as the Ghost Island as well. The most adorable inhabitants of Ross Island that remain are its native deeds that roam around freely and even sometimes interact with the tourists. So now we are at the Naval Miran Museum and the Samudrika Museum. What we see here is a model of the Nicobari's traditional tribal head. This exhibit at the Samudrika Museum depicts the appearance of the traditional tribal inhabitants of the island. So here is the massive collection of seashells at the Samudrika Museum. Most of the seashells originate from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The main attraction of the seashell exhibit at Samudrika Museum is the massive gigantic seashells that take the center stage. We also find the shells of the hawkbill turtle at this exhibit. Another fascinating exhibit at the Symmetrica Museum is the giant skeleton of the blue whale which is placed exactly at the entrance. Well everyone, now we are approaching the North Bay Island. This island is accessible from Port Blair by boat and it is the hub for all the water sports activities. Through a boat ride, we can also view the beautiful lighthouse of the North Bay Island. Let's explore. One of the popular activities here at North Bay is the Andaman Dolphin Glass Boat Ride. We shall be trying this activity today. The most important feature of the Andaman Dolphin Boat is that it gives us a beautiful and breathtaking view of the coral reefs that are buried in the deep sea. Come join me and let's view these beautiful types of corals here at Andaman. So we have boarded the ride and our beautiful journey through the coral reefs has now begun. So as you can see through the magnified glass, the Andaman Dolphin Boat gives us a wonderful view of the different types of corals. You know one interesting fact, the different types of corals are actually named after the different parts of the human body. This is because the appearance of the different coral types is somewhat similar to our different body parts. So here you can see we can see some colorful corals and we can also spot the red coral which is used for ornamental purposes. The blue colored corals are actually known as the brain corals for a similarity to the shape of the human brain. Now our boat has moved further ahead and here we can view some more corals. We can also find cauliflower corals and even finger corals that look exactly like our fingers. What's more exciting is that we can even spot jellyfish at times and small fishes moving around amidst the corals. 